G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to another day in paradise on my little deserted island in this archipelago that I still don't know how to pronounce properly, but welcome back to Stranded Deep where I'm making a real good effort of turning a bad thing into a lovely thing. I'm doing a good job of making this island my home, but today I have come back to take on that island in the distance out there. There are some shipwrecks out there that likely have some good gubs in them. And despite being in a plane crash, I can't turn off the loot fiend inside me. So I'm going to paddle my little spaghetti legs all the way out there on my big balloon over here and see what that island has to offer. Probably bad things, but hey, got to risk it for the biscuit and I'm snacky as hell. I've just kind of realized, was there an update at some point? Do palm saplings and like these fibrous leaves respawn now? Because I have distinct memories of running out of these bad boys and having to go sailing to try and find some more. But if this is now like a respawning thing, I am here for it. Give me all the fibrous leaves you can. Just going to quickly grab my little pee pee here and take it with me. Can't get bold unless you're holding your pee pee. Uh, and just like shove that into a box over here for <laughs> safekeeping. Uh, you... I haven't labeled any of my boxes yet, so everything is kind of all over the place at the moment. You can just go into there, because I'm pretty sure if memory serves, doesn't that give me... I need to cool down. I do need to cool down. There it is. Antidote. Antidote takes PP and a coconut flask. So you shove your PP in the flask, and apparently it makes you feel a whole lot better. So I'm going to hold on to that for later on. How are you looking? How are you looking? I'm just getting burned to a crisp in the sun. That's fine. I'll take a load off in the shade and start planning my adventure. Although the weather seems to be turning somewhat. While I've been waiting for the weather to turn, I don't really want to go paddling my little balloon boat out to another island while the weather is anything less than utterly perfect. I don't want to be in the ocean at the best of times. Getting pissed on by the gods only serves to piss off the ocean life as well. So I'm just kind of trying to make myself uh, a little bit, you know, something kind of nice. Got some foundations down, wood steps, plank steps. Those, that's not steps at all. Those are bloody ramp, but okay, sure enough. So I need some, uh, what, some sticks and some lashings. No whackers. I've got some lying around here somewhere. Where's my lashings? There's one there. Any sticks around? No, not really. I'll go and harvest some, though. And just get myself, you know, a nice little place to kick off my boots at the end of a hard day of trying not to die. Just going to chuck you in just there. There we go. Although it's looking mighty sunny outside now, so it might be time for me to put my money where my mouth is. Grab a paddle and... Oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm not a brave boy at the best of times. And this is making everything inside me scream that it's a terrible idea. Oh, I'm just going to have to try. I'm just going to have to try and see how we go. I mean, what's the worst that happens? We get gobbled up by a bunch of sea life? That's actually a really bad time. All right. Well, nothing for it. Come on, Rafty boy. We're getting out here. We're going somewhere we shouldn't go. We're going to see how it works out for us. Grab you. Can I, like, scooch you a bit more into the ocean, please, so you're not hung up on a rock? There we go. And we're in. Hold it. Operates. Uh, okay, well, that's not a particularly good start. This should be an example to everyone of why I shouldn't be taken to the ocean. My seafaring ability is next to... Well, it's under zero. Here we go. Now we're paddling. That's a pad... Oh! 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 Row, row, row your boat gently out to sea. Merrily, 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 merrily. I'm gonna get eaten by a shark or three. That out. Uh, oh, look at him. Look at him there, just trailing along like he's a dolphin in me bow wave. Piss off. Please piss off. I'm not feeling good about this at all. I'm sailing a freaking balloon next to a mouthful of razor blades. Don't look. Don't look, Josh. Just close your eyes and keep on paddling. Ignorance is bliss, and I want to be blissful. Oh, God. The music's changed. And the sun is setting? Why am I doing this at dusk? I thought I had so much more time. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have made several poor decisions that have led to this moment. You know what? No. You know what? No. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're turning around. I'm so much further from home than I thought I was. It's fine. Sharky, it's all good. If you just want to, like, let me, like, I don't know, throw a rope through your mouth or something like I'm riding you like a horse. Give me some speed. I'll go home. I'm really sorry. We're almost there. I don't even care if I get dashed up on the rocks. The rocks are better than a shark's mouth, especially a tiger shark as well. That is not something to be fucking around with. Up we get. 
Come on, up we go. Get up away from the water because who knows if the sharks have learned from the killer whales who just throw themselves on the beach to get themselves a juicy prize. I don't consider myself juicy, but compared to the fish out there, oh, I am all sorts of jiggly. Okay, we're back. Have a little snooze, have a little save, and try not to think about the nightmare we almost got ourselves trapped in. That was a cacophony of bad decisions. I've drunk all my water out of my water still, and I'm still looking real average, and I'm real peckish as well. That's all right. In fact, don't I have like a fishing spear around here somewhere? You, no, you, no, you, yes, grab you. Get the old triton going. This may piss off the ocean gods, but fuck you, Poseidon. I'm, I'm a little bit snacky. If you're going to snack on me, I need to plump myself up, you know? We'll consider this a fair trade-off. You're going to eat me eventually, so let me have a good time while I'm in pasture. The sun is finally starting to rise out there. Look at that. Look at that. What a welcoming sight. Not just because I can feel the warmth on my skin and it makes me feel like I'm getting cuddled by someone. And it's been a little while, but ooh. But also because, you know, it means I can see what's going on. Are you a thing? Can I can I nom you? I mean, maybe that's why the tiger shark was so cranky. He's left his dildo behind. I better not touch that without washing my hands profusely. All right, there we go. We can finally see some things. <gasps> fishy, fishy. Get the fishy. Fish. That's a buddy sardine, but it's gonna have to do. There we go. Fish for dinner and fish for breakfast. We're living healthy. Look at the bloody shadow of this dude as he runs about. He is a man on a mission. Charging down breakfast wherever he may do. Donuts and bagels, better watch out. That mean streak is coming for you. Okay, I need to grab you real quick. Quickly have a bit of a tickle on the fire and get it up and going. There we go. This is so much more effort than just turning on the toaster. I miss civilization. Oh, I can't even cook me sardines. Are they too small? Can I just eat you? No, I can't. What do I? What, I can't do anything with you. All right. Well, never bloody mind then. That's a bit disappointing. Do, so I need a bigger fish. Okay. All right. Fair play then. We'll go find a bigger fish then. I mean, listen. If you listen to Qui Gon, there's always a bigger fish. I just need to find it. That's a turtle. I don't really feel like murdering Crush today, even though he would make a delicious soup. I mean, listen. All you have to do is turn him upside down and start boiling. He's a, it's like a soup in a can. He's shelping the can. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's a much bigger fish than I wanted! That's a much bigger fish than I wanted! I asked for a big fish and the monkey claw closed! No! No, no, no! No, no, no! I'm out! I'm out! I'm good! We're sweet! Never mind! I mean, in, fa in fairness to him, he found me raiding his Dorito snack cupboard. I'd be pretty pissed off about that as well. Oh, I see ya. Stay right there. Oh, I missed it. Oh, Kobe! Oh, oh. No. Oh. Alright, um... Maybe not go Kobe there, because apparently you just yeet your spear into the next era. Well, I can't cook a, sh a, a fish. Maybe I have to cook a pelican instead. No, Josh, what did you just learn? I mean, I know I can just make more out of them, but I still don't want to lose all the spears that I do have. Where's all the crabs, by the way? There's just no crabs at all here. <laughs> Where have they all gone? Oh, there's one. Never mind. Never mind. I was talking shit, and I finally got one. I do need to quickly go and sizzle you up, though, because I'm very hungry. I'm wasting so much of my morning just trying to keep myself alive and keep myself well-fed and whatnot, but it's taking a fair bit. Eating two halves of coconut and drank all its innards. We're not getting any progress out of that, though. Maybe I do just need to, like, just paddle on. Just hope I find something to nosh on over there, because at the moment, I'm not looking great. What the hell do I do with this, though? If I can't eat you, what's the bloody point here? Piss off, then, you inventory clattering fuck. I just want to eat one of these birdies. Go like that. Well too short. God, I thought you had an arm on you, Jeffrey, giving you through a stick. <gasps> you broke your spear, you mongrel. Oh. All right, well then, never mind. I'm down to my last sharpened stick. Threw the last one into the next reef, but apparently you want to throw it six inches? Yeah, nah, mate. I've been telling myself the whole life that six inches isn't that big of a deal. Apparently it is. It's getting real stormy again, but I'm going fishing. Oh, I mean, can I murder you? You're made of fish, mate. Here, come here. Holy shit, I can too. I stabbed it in its gigantic eye and pissed off the gods. Does that give me a whole lot? Let's try and get some oxygen. You're floating about, I'm floating about. There's probably sharks around, but I am, I am here for it. Oh God, oh. I'm getting pushed out to sea. That's fine. That's fine. We're all good. I really made the gods angry with that one. 
Was that like, was that Pudge? Did I not feed him a peanut butter, a peanut butter f a sandwich and now the withers turned? I don't know. I don't know. But either way, I now have Pudge to eat. Can I, can I light my fire while there's a storm going on? I mean, if Zeusy Boy up there wanted to just do me a favor and send out a lightning bolt to light that, that would be dope. But can't really rely on that. I can't add more than one. What is this? Medium fish meat. Okay. All right. I'm here. I'm going to sit here and make sure this thing doesn't go out. I'm real peckish and I'm real excited for tomorrow. Just going to get through today first. While this storm's cracking on, there's a lot of different options for cooking and stuff, actually. So I might get a barrel and a campfire and make a hobo stove. Or a smoker or a loom or a PlayStation. Uh, I'm trying to... I remember someone telling me what, like, the good version of a cooker is in this, but I've forgotten what it is. I assume smoking. Like, smoking is something that makes it last longer. And we saw with those coconut halves that things can get rotten. So maybe making one of those is my best shout. So I need three sticks, a lashing, and some cloth. I should have a lot of that around, actually. There's one of you, a lashing. Well, is it, like, three sticks now? Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Well, easy done. Let's find a ficus and get chopping. We can get ourselves a smoke before the day's out. I'm going to quickly take the fish meat off. I've already cooked one, but that's fine. I'll also extinguish you because constructing around an open flame seems like a really bad idea. Oh, yeah. There we go. It looks just like my house behind it. There we go. So the fish that are getting smoked can have a nice place to live while I have a nice place to live. That works for me. Attach that to you. And then I need to relight you. So is that how I can cook those sardines? I don't know. I don't know. Or I need to find like a can first. Do I need to can the sardines and put them into their natural state? Well, in that case then, before the sun goes down, I'm going to get bold with it again and head back out into the blue stuff to try and find another giant group of fish. That's a real spiny saurus looking bastard there, isn't it? Stay away from you. But if I can find another big boy, I can fill my, uh, my smoker up with delicious fish treats and then take that on my adventure tomorrow. This is all working out for me as long as I find some food. Oh, that's a scary looking bastard as well. Ow! Ow! It's a real scary looking bastard. There's the big group of us looking for. <gasps> and a big steak. And a big steak. And a big steak. Run away! There we go. Got some meat out of the giant grouper. That can go straight on the smoke gun. So, where's that snake gone though? I touched the bloody coral and it gave me an infection, I think. Yeah, I'm all pimply and gross now. Oh, damn it. All right, well, I'll head back to shore and try and sort that out. See, the ocean's dangerous. This is why you stay on the island. Here we go. Attach all that to the smoker. That's looking nice and pretty. Good. Okay, so I'm currently infected with some pretty horrendous looking garbage, but I have a cure for that. All I need is to suck on a little pee pee and it will make my entire life so much better. Look for a little pee pee. There it is. I need to grab myself a coconut. Where are you? Where are you? Get myself the flask, put the pee pee in the flask, drink that up, slurp and gurp it, and that may feel a whole lot better. Where's all my coconuts? There's one. Here we go. Craft the antidote. Put that into me. Lovely double. Get my flask back, actually, which is heckin' bloody handy. You can just hang out. Not in there. Not in there. In one of the boxes that has some room for you. Um, there we go. That one. You can go, actually. In fact, you know what? Give me you and you. I'll just craft up another antidote right now and store you away. There we go. So if I need another one later on, if I go tickling some coral reefs again, I've got the antidote right there and waiting. Because it's always good to have easy access to a little pee pee. The sun is setting in the distance. Go stand around my fire real quick to check me arms. No more pimples, so we're looking nice and lovely. I've got one cooked me medium fish meat on me already. Two more on the go. So when I wake up in the morning, I am ripe and ready to get cracking on. Who's got room? None of you guys have any room. Although, it wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. I'll take two lashings with me. You can hold on to... In fact, all of that's kind of useful. Probably the fish and spear when I'm going adventuring. Axe, knife, food. But what can I make out of you? I can make a bow. Okay. I can make a bow. What does it take to make an arrow, though? A bow's pretty useful. Uh, pretty useless, even, without an arrow. Where's it going to be? Just regular crafting? Arrows? Anywhere in here? Um, can make a... Oh, I can make cloth. I need a loom for that, though. Fair enough. Here we go. Arrow. Oh, you're expensive. A stone tool and a stick? I mean, probably fair enough, but it's more than I was anticipating. All right. I have my bow ready to go. You're cooked and you're cooked. So I can extinguish that and we can have ourselves a little nap 
Tomorrow's the big day, though. Tomorrow's the day we're heading to the new island. I've got a bow and arrow. I've got some spears. I've got some food. I'll drink before I go. And then I can live off coconuts if I need to. Nice, beautiful sunrise. How are we looking? Pretty thirsty and uh, pretty hungry. So I'll drink up all of you. Let's get me looking nice and lovely. Have a snack. Have another snack. Got another snack on the go as well. All right. We're good. We're good. Let's get back in our inflatable bathtub. Our little death trap over here. I was going to say, come at me, tiger shark, but I really don't want you to. Here we go. In the fresh morning air. It's barely even 6 a.m., but we're pushing on. Ocean's looking nice and calm. Not quite glassy, but I'm here for it. So far, so good. No fins in the water. Just paddle along and hope for the best. There better be something good on this island. You know, if you forget the whole, like, being in imminent danger of being eaten thing, it's bloody gorgeous out here. But I'm going to keep on, keep on paddling and stop admiring the view. What have we got? We've got a couple of big looking ships out here, actually, which will hopefully give me some decent gubs. Almost there. Almost there. It is not a quick process to paddle my ass across the deep ocean blue, though. I mean, I've got some motor parts. Can I get myself, like, an outboard motor? That would be so much better. Here we go. Make landfall. Jump off of you. Drag my raft up so it doesn't get lost on the ocean. I kind of need you to be my friend. Oh, I thought I saw some Muppets hanging out in the blue out there, but no, we're all right. Can I stick you? There we go. Attach the hook. Put you back there so I don't lose you. What are you? Got some crabs around, which is good. Oh, oh, you're a big crab. You're a real big crab. Go away. Go away. You're a real big horny crab. Normally being horny gives you crabs. This is the opposite way around. Cop that. Cop that. All my spears are breaking. Never mind. Come to this island was a mistake. Piss off. Piss off. Go away. Like the super brave boy I am, I just like swam across to a different part of the island. Just noped out of there as quickly as I could. Okay, so my spears did nothing against that, which kind of makes sense given it's one big spiny boy full of armor. Oh, I'll take you though. What am I even looking for out here? What are you? Is that, oh, is that what I think it is? Those are the boys. Oh, sorry, the buoys. I would say boys, but it's spelt weirdly and I don't, that's the right way to pronounce it. But those are the buoys, which I can make myself a bit of raft out of. I don't have to float around in an inflatable death trap anymore. Very interesting. I'll explore the rest of the island first. More corrugated gubs there as well. There's some good gubbins over here. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, holy shit. Holy shit. No, no, no. No, no, no. You're a big old piggly wing, so I don't think you can swim. I mean, how can you swim with bloody hooves? Come on, Trotter. Get over him. Get over him. Oh, you're big and scary. Oh, you came galloping at me out of the middle of nowhere. This island is awful. I think what I want to do, I want to get myself some palm fronds. Because if I can make myself like a shelter over here, first of all, I can save the bleeding gang. So if I get pork roasted by old red potato over there, I can at least come back to ah, come back to it after the facts. All right, this entire island. I've rediscovered Australia. This entire island is trying to murder me. I'm trying to stay out of its way, but they aren't having it. Just going to do the same thing. Plop you down there so you're looking out of the ocean. May not be a wise decision, but it's the decision I've made. So what do I need now? I mean, I guess most of the things here are probably reasonably edible, so I wouldn't mind slicing and dicing a couple of them and chucking them on a campfire if I can. You, real quick, just like sit down and let me have a whirl at you so I can drink your innards. Stop rolling away. There you go. Give me you. Slurp up you. Drop you again and carve you up. This is dangerous. I, I miss my island. It's out that way, I think. I think that's my home island over there. I probably should have made a note of what direction I came in on. Because I know that big old ball of bacon is out there waiting for me. God, the weather is not on my side at the moment. So you murder a couple of group of fishies and apparently the gods take issue with you. How dare I murder such delicious treats from the ocean. I'm going to quickly carve up these trunks to be sticks. And then make myself an obscene amount... Not kindling a clown. An obscene amount of crude spears. Although one killing actually isn't a bad idea if I'm going to make myself a campfire at some point. There we go. You can just hang out there. So now, if it comes for me, I'll just like rat a tata a bunch of pointy sticks and hopefully drop it. It's made of pork and I quite like crackling. There's the big boary fella just over there just looking out on the ocean. Oh, and a little fella as well. I mean, how badly can I piss you off? I do have a bone. Uh, can I? Hang on. Hang on, can I? There you go. 
Okay, there's no draw from it. You just line it up and shoot for the best you are. Go. Oh, God. That's a real big arrow in a very small rump. Uh, hey, just don't look over here for a second. I'm slightly murdering your children. There's some more buoys just there. I actually will keep that in mind. That's what I shot going over to get some horny crabs. What if I just go like this then? And kind of shank it that I did make it run away. Okay, I can scare breakfast by skewering it. Well, get over here then. I've got some more skewers for you. Got to dress you up like a Christmas ham. There you are. There you are. Wait on. Missed it. That's another one. Another one. A, ow, giant hog. Stop it. Stop it. Get to the water. Get to the water. I'm very hurt. God, the Triceratops of Bacon Bits is coming for me. How hurt am I? Oh, actually, not that much, actually. Okay, that's fine. Look at you. That was a shit shot. Look at you, though. How are you not dead? You've got more splinters in your skull than brain stems. Sure, you got to call it a day. Ow. Call it a day at some point. Give me my spears back. Thank you. Just, like, taking it back out again to try again. This is, uh, this is more of a battle than I was hoping for. There we go. Gotcha. You did me a number, but I did more numbers on you. That's how math works. Give me that. Give me that goodness, giant hog. Oh, a big bit of guts. Still need to go and murder your baby, though. I can't have your baby. Like, listen, now that I've murdered you, the kid's going to die anyway. They're going to get skewered by the horny crab over there. May as well put it out of its misery where I can still benefit from it. There we go. It's fading away to nothing. I've got everything I can out of you. Now that I've finished murdering things, the weather's apparently cleared up. Large meat. <laughs> hey, got some large meat out of that. Always a good time. Cooked. So that's the cooked stuff. Not hungry, though. Got some rawhide as well. So this is the problem that I was kind of anticipating. How do I get all this stuff back? I don't have any storage. How do I, how do I move things around? Well, that's a thing. Horny crab learned how to fly. All right, fair enough. Then, well, if you're going to leave little, oh, little baby piggly wings over here, I'll uh, put it out its misery right quick. Crouch down. Aim about there. Oh, it took a second one. Bud, take the hint and just lie down. <laughs> what is happening out here today? I don't know where Tiny Piggly Winks has gone. He's taken me arrows and run out to sea, apparently. He's just gone forever. Right, okay. So I've got some, uh, some buoys over there on the back of that boat. There was also some buoys on the boat that's on the shore. Plus, I've got all this scrap and stuff here. Now, if my memory serves... <gasps> there's Tiny Piggly Winks. If my memory serves, can't I make vehicles, raft, actually, yeah, just here. So you can get the buoys with some rope and make yourself a base. And then on top of that, you can chuck on like the plank or corrugated iron to actually make yourself another raft. Okay. We well, can actually make yourself like a wood raft base. Well, that's kind of interesting. Nice. Okay. So that's at least two segments of raft I can conjure up. That was a good shot, actually. Come back. Come back. Stop running. This would be so much easier on everyone if you just stopped carrying on like a pork chop. Get over here and get my shaft into you. Where are you? Go long. Go long. Oh, you ducked and weaved. You serpentine bitch. Gotcha. Gotcha. There we go. Don't know why you have flies on you already. You literally just died. Skin you up like I did your mum. Oh, <laughs> I don't feel dirty because I'm insulting a baby boy. I feel dirty because I made a your mum joke. And we're, we might pretend we're above that here, but we're definitely not. Carve you up. Thank you very much. I'm getting lots of governs out of this. So if I make if I make myself a raft, I'm going to have to make myself a raft before I leave this island. But can I paddle a made raft? How do I get... Oh, you went all jiggly. How do I get that shit back to my home island? I don't know. I don't know, but it's probably a pretty pertinent question. The sun is starting to go down, so I'm now on a mission to find... Well, that rock, and now two more, please. Another one there. No room in inventory. How about sod off? How does that sound? Got a fair bit of you. That, is that all? Why are you stacking raw bacon with cooked fish meat? That seems like a really bad idea. Okay, you just go there. Hang on a second. Where's the cooked stuff? Medium boar meat. No, that one. Cooked fish meats. I'm a little hungry. Sure, I'll eat that to try and free up some inventory space. Um, got one extra crude spear, so you can just go away. There we go. Free up some space. Grab that one and that one. Need to make myself a fire pit. 
Nice. I just need like four sticks and we're good. Here we go. Same as before. Chuck the fire just there. And in fact, put the fire pit around it. Easy as. Grab the kindling and get your sizzling. Do I... Ooh. But here's the next question though. Do I try and rush back home so I can put my... Like the big meat on the smoker. I've got two big meats and medium boar meat. That's a fair bit of food right there. It's probably not wise to waste it on this. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save. I'm not going to sleep. I might have time to paddle myself back to my home island before things get too dire. I'll leave that there because I can make myself the raft out of that when I come back again. I'll leave the boys there. Oh, this is a risky decision. It's a risky decision, but it might pay dividends. Because I don't want to... Yeah, if I cook it up normally, it'll go off quicker. But if I smoke it... Much better idea. Much better idea. I'm risking it for the big porky biscuit. Or the brisket, even. That's probably a better one. Let's do it. Let's paddle through the night. Sharks be damned. It's already night time before I've even set off, which is not great. But whatever, we'll manage. That's where I'm heading. Okay. Okay. Same as before, Josh. Don't even look in the water. The water's full of nightmares and darkness and scary things. We know that already. Learning what's actually underneath us serves us no purpose other than to terrify us. So just focus on where you're going. Put blinkers on like you're a racehorse and go piss like one. Get out there. Get it done. Oh, please, nothing bad happened to me. What is happening? Things are make making gurgly noises and it's not making me feel particularly safe at all. Why is the ocean bubbling? <laughs> Don't think about it, Josh. Don't think about it, Josh. Focus on the trees of home. Oh, that was terrifying. I, I really shouldn't be going out and sailing at night time. Look at what I'm sailing here. It's basically a rubber ducky in a shark's bathtub. Not that great of an idea by any stretch. Although, we seem to have made a home, though. Grab you. Come on. Here we go. Don't, don't worry about the monsters of the deep. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I flipped me raft somehow. Come on, Rubber Ducky. Let's get over here. From now on, you are known as Rubber Ducky 1. There you are. That looks nice, nice and safe and secure. Attach it back. Whew. That was, um, that was a productive raid, though. Had to go back there to get the buoys, but that was a good time. I'm happy with that. So with all of that attached, I'll grab my kindling that I normally leave around here somewhere. There you are. I was going to say, I can't quite see you in the dark. Uh, I mean, you could see if the fire was on, but, you know, it's kind of like a what came first, chicken or the egg, fire of the kindling. Get you up, chuck you them. So what do I do with this stuff? Rawhide. I assume I can turn you into something pretty good, but I don't know what. But for now, I'll just find somewhere to chuck you. I need some more storage. All right. I reckon that is about a productive day as I'm ever going to get. I'll quickly save you there and get ready to kick on another day. So what's the plan? How could I take... If I emptied out these, could I take the boxes in my pockets, go out to the island out there, grab all the boys or boys, and put them in the boxes and bring them home again? Ah! Dracula! Piss off, please! Go suck someone else's butt. I suck at this game enough already. But if I get everything back to this island... Would that be easier or if I make the raft pieces on that island and try and sail it back, is that going to be better? What's the go with like vehicles, propulsion, raft canopy, it's not quite propulsion, anchor, so it is rocks and uh, lashings, sail, and a rudder. So if I, oh, okay, so if I take all of that stuff with me to that island then I can make myself a sail, a rudder, and an anchor, and actually, like, actively sail my raft pieces back home again. Raft motor? I can make an outboard? Oh, fuck, yeah. Oh, man, the sharks are in danger now. I'll fucking give it rudder burn. Not rudder burn, the bloody prop burn. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I like it. Well, either way, that is a job for future Josh. Kind of just going to sit here and bide his time next to his smoker and probably grab some extra fibrous leaves to make all those lashings I'm going to need. Rope is apparently pretty important. Like, you're trying to sail all your gold out of El Dorado. Always need more rope. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. So, 
for another productive day. Happy with that. But I'm going to have to leave this episode here and come back and continue my adventure. I'm really excited about it now. Into the story of Stranded Deep in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.